hello learners this is my third video on topic compound interest so we are solving sums of exercise 2.1 now we are going to solve question number 2 and question is a man invest rupees 46875 at 4% per annum compound interest for 3 years calculate the interest for the first year the amount standing to his credit at the end of the second year, the interest for the third year. I am showing you the picture because maybe some students are having not book with them. That's why I am showing you the picture by book also. Let's see how we will solve it. So with the help of the question we have written here. Given that P is equals to 46,875 rupees, rate is 4%, timing is 3 years first question the interest for the first year is what interest for first year see the solution so we will write interest for first year i is equals to p into r into t upon 100 putting the values in place of P, we will write original principal that was 46,875, rate was 4%, timing is 1. Again, I am telling you, we, and don't be confused that if 3 is given, why we are taking 1? Because per year we are solving the sum. So for 1 year, it should be 1. 3 times we will solve the sum, so that will be for 3 years. So never be confused, mostly I have seen examination exam papers in notebooks children are using 3 here that is for simple interest directly we are using 3 for compound interest we are using it because basically this is the formula of simple interest this is not the formula of compound interest I will teach you what is the real formula of compound interest but before coming to the real formula we can solve without that formula also and we are using simple interest formula so try to understand if you are solving simple interest you will directly put 3 if you are solving compound interest it means per year we have to solve the sum every year the principal will change timing will be one 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 every year so i hope that is clear now now 46875 into 4 upon 100 we will cut the numbers here only i am doing all the calculation in front of you children so that you it should be a habit for every learner and it may be teacher or student instead of using calculator solve the calculation part on your own so 425 to 100 now i'm reducing it 55 5 to 25 5 9 to 45 5 3 to 15 5 7 to 35 5 5 to 25 once again we can reduce it 9 3 7 5 here i will cut it 5 1 to 5 5 1 to 5, 5 to 40, 5 7 to 35, 5 5 to 25. So first for first year, this is the answer. What? That is rupees 1875 is the answer, right? Now, that is our first answer. Now, we will see our second question. The amount standing to his credit at the end of the second year. For that, first of all, we will find out what is the amount at the end of first year amount at the end of first year will be this is the principal and this is interest means this plus this value original principal plus interest p plus i we knew that a is equal to p plus i that is p was what that was four six eight seven five plus 1875 so what is amount for first year let's add it 5 5 jet 5 plus 5 10 7 7 14 and 1 15 remainder is 1 1 1 8 8 16 and 1 17 remainder is 1 6 and 1 7 And one was eight. This is four thousand forty-eight thousand seven hundred and fifty rupees. Right? This amount is 
at the end of first year and as i told you earlier please listen carefully amount at the end of first year will be principal for the second year in case of compound interest so i am mentioning it here this is amount at the end of first year and this is equals to principal for second year now what we will see here so let's see what is the interest for second year interest for second year we will write prt again the same formula of simple interest now in the place of p we will take this as principal okay so now it is 48750 into rate is 4% timing is 1 upon 100 it is direct is 2 to 5 chap 10 5 9 chap 45 uh, 5 9 chap 45 then 5 7 chap 35 and 5 5 chap 25 so it is 9 7 5 i wish all my students will solve the sum step by step no need to jump that's why i'm doing all these things in front of you only without using any calculator try to make yourself a calculator 25 jet 10 and 1 27 jet 14 and 1 5 15 1 29 18 and 1 is what 9 5 0 1 9 5 0 rupees once again check it this is the way how we'll do calculation because most of the time we have seen the during in board exam also or final exam or your test paper in exam in your notebook also we have seen that you don't know calculation or multiplication division so do regular practice and after each line please cross check once again that my steps are correct or not okay 25 jet 10 27 jet 15 and 115 so to nine that's see how i'm doing all the thing again cross check cross check If there is any mistake, no problem. You again do the same thing. I will raise uh, the correct answer. So this is the interest for second year. Therefore, amount standing to his credit at the end of second year. Is equals to what previous year principal plus this year interest. What was previous year principal? This was four eight. Now we will not consider about original principal. We will consider this principal is previous year principal. And can you see that this the previous year principal is this one four eight seven five zero plus one nine five zero. Add to get the answer. So this will be zero zero and seven and fifty rupees fifty thousand seven hundred rupees. This is the answer of second question. See the question. The amount standing to his credit at the end of second year. So at the end of second year, this will be the amount on as credit. Third. the interest for the second year the interest for the second year is what now you have to understand what is the interest for sec uh, second year sorry that that was 1950 this is not second year this was third year because after this there will be third year this is not second year so we will do that and here we will mention it this is the principal for third year you must mention amount of second year will be the principal for next year so interest for third year is equals to p r t upon 100 now what will be p this is p that is 50700 what is rate that was 4% There is no change in rate. What is the timing? One C one one one. Three years we have solved separately upon hundred. So one zero two zero one zero two zero. 
and we will multiply 507 into 4 is equals to 47 is 28 45 is 20 so this is our final answer after that do some survey will solve in another video thank you